Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, I just arrived and the uh, Harley truck is here. Let's go take a look. Well, the wind is blowing. Should be a nice day for it though. It looks like an ST117. Interesting bikes here. Man, that Sportster uh, S looks great. Let's go see what they'll let me ride. Well, there she is. I am about to take that uh, Blue Street Bob out. See what she does. It's not a bad looking bike. Not sure if I'm crazy about the blue. I like the bars. The seat actually looks great. But this is uh, not a bike for a passenger. I like that wrinkled black finish on the cases. Okay, we just cranked them up. This is different for me. Got mid pegs, which probably for this bike is the right thing. Um, when I rode the uh, Sportster S, I should have rode the mid pegs. It's going to take me a minute to get used to them. feet are in a way different position. But this bike feels very nimble though. I wonder how much this thing weighs. Now this isn't like a review review because you can find the uh, specs for this thing anywhere. I'm just going to give you my impression of how this thing rides. I had my uh, son's Super Glide for a while and he had it all tricked out. I did enjoy riding that bike. Um, it was slammed a little low for me, so the ride was a little rough, but I did enjoy the nimbleness of it. These mini apes are about right. Now this has the 114 just like my road glide, but I think it's tuned a bit different. I could be wrong, but I think on my girl it's more for torque. This thing's got some pep. Wow. One fourteen definitely feels different. Of course, it's on a bike that weighs what five hundred pounds. I'm 
Look at that yellow one. Nice. I did notice when I got on the uh, Road Glide and the Street Glide ST, I cannot ride that motorcycle. They have raised it so high, I cannot flat foot to get comfortable uh, with my feet on the ground. It's just, it's just not possible. And uh, when I can't do that, I won't ride it. Uh, especially with uh, the woman on the back. I, I don't want to be at all unstable. I don't get really why they raised it up. I understand for the cornering. But to me, the lower center of gravity is always safer. Always safer. pretty smooth. Wow. Now, whoever says Harleys are slow has not ridden one lately. Bike's got a lot of ass. Can I say ass on YouTube? It's got a lot of ass. For a single seater, this seat is not too bad. It's got a really nice back section, which keeps your I said ass again. It keeps my ass from fl uh, sliding backwards, which is a good thing. I'm not sure about that uh, little tiny thing, square thing. I guess they call it a speedometer or what the hell I can't see it with the damn though I have my sunglasses on and everything disappears wow I'm liking this more and more really liking it I feel like I can just throw this thing around. Ow! You just touch this thing and it goes. And the mid pegs are definitely the way to go. Because you can really, really control this bike. I never thought I'd like mid pegs uh, again after riding with my boards but uh, you know there are certain bikes that just make sense and this is one of them and the other one is the uh, Sportster S you need mid pegs on that one too I think on the interstate it shouldn't be that uncomfortable. I'm not sure how many miles you could go on this thing. I'm used to something that, you know, weighs about 900 pounds. Which, uh, that's a momentum bike. I'm not sure how this would do around tractor trailers and traffic and wind gusts, but I will have to see. I don't think it's a touring motorcycle, really. Now, this is a... Uh, this is not a hydraulic clutch. It's a cable. And I've gotten used to my hydraulic. This cable feels really good. It, uh, it grabs almost immediately. I'm used to my hydraulic, and I know the hydraulics actually perform better, but this cable clutch is perfect for this bike.
almost didn't get my foot off of that peg. Got to get used to the mid pegs. My knees are really bent here. Feet are flat on the ground. Balance as well. I don't think uh, this motorcycle would uh, really take a back seat to anyone as far as keeping up. No heel shift. That's old school. I love my heel shift. going here. Well, these stock pipes don't sound too bad either. And, uh, definitely put some slip-ons on there. Just a Get a little bit better rumble out of it. A little bit lower frequency. They don't sound too bad, stock. I think the bike needs to breathe just a touch more. This display is... Uh, I am not liking it. Hard for me to see. Alright, we're back. Let's try the next bike.